Hi, in this video we're going to go over problem 4.2.RA-6. This problem has to do with the sum of squared residuals and we're going to take a look at this for uh, the line of least squares regression but also a different line that may fit the data and we'll show that the least squares regression line has a smaller sum of squared residuals than any other line that we pick. So first, uh, I want to find the least squares regression line for the set of data that I have. So I click to open the table. I click to open it in StackCrunch. And I'm going to click on Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. My X variable is X. My Y variable is the column Y. And I'm going to just click Compute. And I can see my equation at the top here. It's y equals 1 plus 2.3x, or y equals 2.3x plus 1. And that is option B for me. Okay. So that is the line of best fit. It's the least squares regression line. Now, I need to find out which graph matches this one. So let's take a look. Um, I know that the slope was 2.3. I know the y-intercept was 1. So first, if I look at all four of these graphs, I can tell that graph C is no good because it doesn't have a y-intercept at 1. Now, if you notice for graphs A and B, the line goes right through the y-intercept. But for graph D, it goes a little above it. And if we look at the graph in StackCrunch, it goes right through that y-intercept. So we're down to A or B. And let's see, the next thing that we could take a look at is this point right here. This second point from the left, notice that it's slightly above the line. And if I look at A, it's slightly above that line. But if I look at B, it's actually right on the line. So it looks like A is the one that it, we're supposed to pick. Again, it's sort of just um, finding little things that help you to eliminate one of the values. Now, in part C, they give us the equation for a line that goes through those two points, negative 2, negative 4, and 2, 5, is y equals 2.25x plus 0.5. And we want to find the sum of the squared residuals for that line. So this is the more tedious part of this problem. And what I need here, and let me get the stack crunch out of the way. What I need here is the table first. So I'm going to click to open the table. And I'm going to record it over here on my iPad. Um, the x values were negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. The y values were negative 4, negative 1, 1, 4, and 5. And the prediction using the equation that we were given, the equation was y equals 2.25x plus 0 0.5. So this is the predicted value of y. So I'm going to plug in each of these x values into that equation and come up with a predicted y. So for example, if I plug in negative 2, 2.25 times negative 2 plus 0.5 works out to be negative 4. That was right on the money. And it should because we know that the line went through that point. If I plug in negative 1, keep doing that part. That's not good. 2.25 times negative 1 plus 0.5 is negative 1.75. So we can see that that one is a little bit off. Plug in 0, 2, wow, 2.25 times 0 plus 0.5. Multiply and then add 0.5. We should get 0.5. That one's off by a little bit. If I plug in 1, 2.25 times 1 plus 0.5, I get 2.75. That one's probably off by the most. 
And then finally, if I plug in two and use my calculator, that equals five. So that's right on the money. So those are the predicted values. Now I want to calculate the residual. And the residual is simply the actual value minus the predicted value. So I'm going to subtract the y value minus the predicted value for y. In the first column, negative, I'm sorry, the first row, negative 4 minus negative 4, that's 0. Negative 1 minus negative 1.75. Negative 1 minus negative 1.75 is the same as negative 1 plus 1.75, and that equals 0.75. The actual value was 0.75 above where we expected it. For the next row, I'm going to subtract 1 minus 0.5. That is 0 0.5. Next, I'm going to subtract 4 minus 2.75. That is 1.25. And then finally, the last row is 0. So there are the residuals for this line, not the least squares regression line, just the line that went through those two points. To get the sum of the squared residuals, I need to square each of these numbers in the right-hand column and then add them together. And so I've got zero and zero, those don't affect the sum, but these three numbers do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the Desmos scientific calculator, 0.75 squared, 0.5 squared, and 1.25 squared. Let's get to that calculator. Zero point seven five squared plus zero point five squared plus one point two five squared, and I can see the result is two point three seven five. So that's the sum of the squared residuals. If you're going to do this on your calculator you would push the following, 0 squared plus 0 0.75 squared plus 0 0.5 squared plus 1.25 squared plus 0 squared. And again, that equals 2.375. So I enter that for my answer in part C. Now, the sum of squared residuals for the least squares regression line, I could do the same exact thing using this equation from part A, 2.3x plus 1. However, uh, StatCrunch will do this one for me. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to open up the table, and I'm going to copy it into StatCrunch again. And I'm going to do exactly what I did the last time. I'm going to use stat. Regression, simple linear. The x variable is the column x. The y variable is the column y. And I press compute. And let me blow this up. This value right here, where it says SS for error, this 1.1, that is the sum of the squared residuals. So again, that's inside the output for the simple regression. I go to the second table, which says analysis of variance above it. And under the column that says SS, it's the value in the row called error. We could have done the same thing that we did over to the right on the iPad, but this seems pretty straightforward and simple to me. I'm just gonna come back and type that number in 1.1. And there you have it. So that's a quick walkthrough of 4.2.RA-6. Keep in mind, you're going to have a different table of values to work with and a different equation to work with as well. So uh, what I've given you is a roadmap for how to do it, but you're still going to have to go ahead and work it out for the data and equation that you have.
Okay, this is Mr. Woodbury signing out. If you have any questions, you can email me uh, through our Canvas account or track me down on Twitter at George Woodbury. Or you can leave a comment on this video on YouTube. Thanks. See you soon.